Hey guys, welcome back to Explainer X today, I am going to recap a 1989 drama movie, named Sex, Lies and Videotapes. So, let's begin. Anne Bishop Mullany is married to her husband, John, a lawyer. She majorly feels sad and unhappy, so she visits a therapist. On her visit, she tells her therapist that she has been thinking about garbage and what they will do with the excess garbage. The therapist figures that she majorly worries about things she knows she has no control of, and she can't do anything about. She tells him that happy people do not need therapy, and she also thinks happiness is overrated, and the last time she was sincerely happy, she gained over 20 pounds, and she was overweight. She says that time was when she thought her husband, John, would develop a stroke. She tells her therapist that her husband's best friend, Graham, is visiting and she feels terrible that John didn't ask for her opinion before inviting his friend in, but she also knows her opinion doesn't count because it is his house. Meanwhile, John leaves work after cancelling one of his meetings and visits Cynthia, Anne's little sister, and a bartender. He gives Cynthia a flower as a gift and starts kissing her. He and Cynthia have been having extramarital affairs for a while. Anne tells the therapist that she also feels irritated when her husband touches her. She expresses her concerns that she has never been a fan of sex, and it doesn't excite her, but she does it when needed. She says that she has never initiated intercourse with her husband before, and these days, the idea of intercourse doesn't go well with her. After John's intercourse with Cynthia, he tells her they may not be able to see her frequently again because he is expecting a visitor and may be quite busy. Cynthia suggests she wishes to have intercourse with him on his matrimonial bed. Although he tells her that he fears being caught, Graham arrives and pranks Anne by saying that he wants to use the toilet. After telling her it's a prank, he sits with her, and they talk. He asks her about marriage, and she offers to help him with his loads, but he tells her he doesn't have any luggage. Her husband arrives, and they all have dinner together. During the dinner, Graham asks Anne about her sister. She tells Graham that she thinks Cynthia is an introvert. They argue about the type of house that will be good for Graham in the location, while Graham says he doesn't like having extra keys, and he wishes he is only with the key to his car. The following day, Anne decides to take Graham in search of a house while John calls Cynthia to visit him at home. Cynthia meets John naked on the bed with leaves around him, and they start their make-out. As Graham eventually gets a house, he goes to the bar with Anne, where they talk. They decide to talk about private things, and Anne expresses her opinion that sex is overrated and ladies do not enjoy sex the same way men do enjoy it. When it's time for Graham to say his private things, he tells Anne he is impotent. He expresses that his impotence doesn't affect his self-esteem or anything, and he is fine. And they also talk about therapy Anne revisits her therapist, who asks if she has confronted John about the visitor he brought without telling her. She tells him that the visitor is exciting, and she hates the idea because she thinks the visitor would be someone like John since they were classmates, but Graham is different. Anne visits Cynthia to talk about her mother's birthday preparation. Cynthia asks Anne about Graham, and Anne tells her Graham isn't her type of man, and he isn't the kind of man she can have intercourse with. Cynthia says she would like to try it, but Anne tells her Graham doesn't have a phone, and she can't give Cynthia Graham's home address without telling him about it first. So Anne decides to visit Graham at his home to inform him that her sister Cynthia wants his home address. Before she knocks, Graham is watching interview videos he does with females where he asks them about their sexual preferences. As Anne enters, Graham switches off the video player and goes to change his cloth. He goes to get her drink while Anne looks around the house curiously. She sees the discs and asks Graham what it is about. At first, Graham tells her it involves something personal, she asks how personal, and he says it's something work-wise. Curiously, Anne asks again. She sees that the discs have the names of females on them and asks him why it has the names of females. He tells her it's because he enjoys interviewing females. She asks if they could watch one of the interview videos together. Still, Graham tells her he promised the subjects that no one would ever watch the video except him and confessed to her that the videos contain sex conversations with the ladies. Upon hearing this, Anne apologizes for prying and leaves his house. She goes home and calls Cynthia. She tells Cynthia that John was right when he said there was something weird about Graham and warns her sister not to have anything to do with Graham. At about the same time, John calls Cynthia for their regular meeting, but Cynthia says she isn't available then and asks him for dinner. She goes to visit Graham without notice. As she gets there, Graham asks her about her purpose for visiting, and she tells him she spoke to her sister, and she saw her sister was so annoyed, and she is interested in knowing what could make Anne annoyed. Graham shows her the videotapes and tells her the videotapes are the reason Anne is annoyed. Cynthia rightly assumes it has to be sexual, and Graham affirms her assumption by telling her it's a video of a woman's sexual interactions. He asks her if she would like to be videoed, and he promises that no one else will watch it. She allows him to video her, and she tells him all he asks. 
As she leaves, her sexual tension is so high that she calls John immediately for intercourse. As she finishes with John, she calls Anne and tells her all she did. She tells Anne that she made herself naked even without Graham asking her to, and she also touched herself. Later, Anne visits her at work to show her the gown she bought for their mother. She receives a call from John at that moment, but she tells John his wife is there, and she will call him when she needs him. That night, Anne sits John down and asks him if he is cheating on her. He tells her she is paranoid, and if there is anyone that should be paranoid, it should be him because she behaves as if she is shit whenever he touches her, and anyone will be glad to have a comfortable man like him touching them. He asks her if she has evidence against him. Since she has nothing against him, she apologizes for accusing him wrongly, and she goes to hug him. The following day, John visits Cynthia. That day, Cynthia tells him she visited Graham, and she does his videotape. He gets so angry at her and asks her why she could trust someone she doesn't know, but she insists that since John knows him, she feels she could trust him, and she trusts the fact that he will never show anyone else the video. And she even trusts him more than she trusts John, who is a liar and is hurting his wife by having sex with his wife's younger sister. John reminds her that they are the same and both lie to Anne, but Cynthia says she didn't tell Anne I do, and she didn't promise to be with Anne like John did. At the end of the conversation, Cynthia refuses to have intercourse with John that day. That same day, while Anne is cleaning the house, she finds Cynthia's lost pearl in her house, and it affirms her suspicions that Cynthia is having sex with her husband. She leaves home immediately and goes to visit Graham. She tells Graham this, but Graham tells her he knows, and Cynthia says it in her tape. She tells Graham she also wants to make a tape. Graham stops her, but she insists on making the tape, so he tells her to sit. He asks her all the questions, and when she finishes, she returns home. She gets home and sees her husband worried that she isn't home. She tells John she wants a divorce, and she refuses to tell him the reason. So John asks her where she was, and she tells John she was with Graham. Angrily, John tells her that he knows she didn't have anything with Graham, but he wants to know if she also did the videotape. She admits she did the videotape, and John angrily goes to Graham's house. He punches Graham and locks him outside, then takes his wife's videotape. He watches as she tells Graham that she has never enjoyed sex with her husband and has never had orgasms. Graham asks her if she has ever imagined making out with another man. She replies affirmatively but says she didn't recreate her imagination because she doesn't want to be like Cynthia, and she hates that she thinks as Cynthia does. She tells him she has imagined having intercourse with him and asks him if he can give a lady an orgasm. He replies affirmatively but says he can't do anything with her. She asks why he stopped having sex, and he replies that he was a liar, which ended his last relationship. Anne knows John has always attached a girl named Elizabeth to him, so she asks if he is talking about Elizabeth. She turns the camera at him and asks when he got to the position of keeping videotapes. He tells him he doesn't know who he is, and he doesn't know how he got there, so he can't start explaining it to her. He says he came to that city to get closure. Anne goes nearer to him. They kiss as the video stops. After watching the video, John goes to meet Graham outside. He tells him he had sex with Elizabeth before his relationship ended, and Elizabeth is no saint. As John leaves, Graham goes into his house and destroys all the tapes. The following day at work, John's secretary tells him his boss calls him repeatedly, and he assumes he is about to be sacked. Anne also visits Cynthia at her bar, and she repairs her relationship with her sister before meeting with Graham at his house. She holds hands with Graham in the movie ends. So I hope you enjoy the video, so click any video of three them and enjoy next and don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the like button. Thank you for watching see you soon.